Okay, let's do a quick video on Prodigy. Okay, I'm going to share my screen again. Here I am. Okay, last not found, Google. Okay, open it up. I'm going to click right here. I'm going to go to Prodigy. I'm going to go the long way so you can see it. Prodigy Math Learning. Okay, it says all this. All you need to do is go to Play Prodigy. And then we don't have to click any of this. Just go down to sign in with Google because your child's already logged into Google, their Google account. I have two, so I go to my Stillicum account. And then I don't need uh, to do anything with this right now. I just click next. I always click from home, whether I'm at school or not. <laughs> um, one of my students told me to do that and I listened to what he says. So um, I think if you're at school, it can have you do a class code. I have my class code, it's posted. Um, but let's just go from home. If I were to log in right now, I would probably go down to more worlds down here because some, I don't know how much room there is in these worlds. Go to more worlds. Um, these look pretty full. There's a lot of kids on Prodigy. <laughs> look at all these. Okay. So I would just click Val, Val Erie, and I would click, I would let the class know that this is the world I would be in, and boom. I don't watch any of these things. Um, let's see if I got any friends in here. I clicked on this this morning. Chris White Pants at school. I got a snowflake hair clip item. Awesome. They can click there, they can go down to all. Um, this is me share with a friend. I can share from here. Um, anyway, there's a little bit of talking that can happen. Okay. Click here. Okay. The world tells you where to go. If I click down here at the map, this is where I used to be. Some of these aren't open, like this one's not open for me. I was at the volcano, that's what kids know about. You know, some kids like to play on this. Right now I'm at the town. And a lot of the kids when they left school were gathering in the town. That was a place where they went. So go back into town. Yes. All right. Ooh. Anyway, you can see these are all kids playing the game right now. Some of them are battling wizards, some of them are doing different things. You can't even find me, so I'm going to go this way. So you just click, and then the person, there I go, goes to the next screen. I don't have anything. I always look to see if I notice any of the kids in here. I'm going to go up these stairs. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go this way. I haven't made it this far without getting challenged before. I wanted to show you guys what happens when you're challenged. There I am again. I'm going to go this way. Doing a lot of walking. Go, let's go. Maybe it's just going slow. I can't go that way. Oh, there we go. I got something because I clicked on the little box over here. I want something new. I want that. Okay. I want something again. I wish the students were here because they would tell me what I want. Okay, now I think I can go this way. Ancient ritual. I can share that if I want. Um, I can't see. 
I'm trying to get through a battle so that I can do what it has. So the kids can battle each other or you can have a battle. So I'm going to try to go this way and this guy's going to want to battle. Um, practice makes perfect. Try using a hint for the next time. Okay. So I have the math set on pretty easy for me. As a teacher, I can change the math levels for the students um, and have them work on standards that they need to work on. Right now, I'm learning where they're at. So just let me know if you, if you need to move up and down. Um, for the most part, the students, are, if the math seems a little too easy, see I'm answering questions. If the math seems a little too easy, then um, if they're moving, they could be filling gaps that they didn't have, that they had before in their math. Um, students don't tend to really like having the math be too easy because then it's boring. Okay, so I'm battling this guy out. So my skill right now is I'm learning what numbers come after each other in the number line. And I started from the beginning and went to the circle because I wanted to see all the math and how they present it. And as you can tell, I'm doing a great job. Now, when the other guy misses a math problem that we're battling with, it counts as a miss. All right, now I'm going to do it again. Number four, eight. We're just going to go through one battle so we can see what the kid's doing. All right. Now the fun part is if your student finds me on here, we can either journey together and battle things together, or we can battle each other, or we can just virtually hang out, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm doing this an hour a day at this time. I might do it twice a day if it's easier, because I know that some kids that, um, some of the students have older kids that, so, they're sharing a computer with and they're doing it this for them. So playing with this common computer probably would be kind of learning that priority. Anyway, that's the battle. That's what it is. Right here on there it says you can add your friends. I don't have any friends right now, but we have classmates. These are kids in our class. Okay. Um, I don't know who's who because we all have different names. But these are the, uh, in my classmates list. These kids have all put in my class code for the game. So these kids are kids that you're. Oh, look at this guy. Little lady six. Anyway, they get cool little outfits. I will put on um, some bunny ears and a wolf face, but I really like this teeny hint thing. So um, here's the map. This shows you that over here, the puppet master is on the volcano. So it's really fun. It's totally kid appropriate. And we just have a lot of fun when we play it. Um, I've noticed that a lot of math is learned probably because of the brain science behind it. A lot of dopamine occurs and connectivity. And when you have just the right amount of time, just the right amount of learning, um, time goes faster and it also uh, helps make the learning go faster. So that's Prodigy. So if you have any other questions, email me, let me know. And if your students have any hard time logging in, make sure they're logged into their Google account first. Um, and yes. Let me go back and look here and see if I can find, if I go, I close this. I think if I go out all the way and then come back in and I log in through school, I can put in my class code. Let's try it. Um, it was red. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> I emailed myself my um, so my link to, and I'll send it to all of you, um, to my class. 
so that to my YouTube subscription, you can tell I can't really talk and do at the same time. Okay, play Prodigy. Log in with Google. All right, there it goes. Okay, next, school. Da, da, da. School. Okay. Hmm. okay, I don't know where they put in their class. <laughs> um, but maybe because I've already put it in, I can't go back and do it again. All right. So that's Prodigy. Let me know if you have any further questions. And there we go. All right. Take care of each other. Stay healthy.